Shubhraja Didi is uh, the associate professor and UHV coordinator at SRM Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. But uh, to add to this, though Didi is working at SRM University, she is a very active volunteer in the UHV activities. And she is a part of many of the projects. Over to you, Shubhraja. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shubhraja Didi. Thank you. Uh, so very good afternoon to one and one present here. Namaste. So now I'm going to give a, a small presentation on what are the UHV activities happening at SRM Institute of Science and Technology, right from the scratch, how we built the entire uh, UHV cell and what are the things happening and what's the future plan. So to begin with, uh, introducing myself, as Shishrajadi mentioned, I am Dr. Supraja. I'm a university coordinator at SRM Institute of Science and Technology. And this is my uh, small family, myself and my husband, Sasi Kumar. He's an agriculturalist. And my father, Perumal, and my mother, Suganti. Uh, we are from a typical village. village, And um, we are from, everyone is from agriculture background. Um, I'm the first person to come for the work. Um, and um, I'm currently working as an associate professor in the Department of Networking and Communication, SRM Institute of Science and Technology. So last year, uh, June 2022, I have completed my UHV introductory. And within within a month, I tried I completed UHV2 workshop that happened in the Saira Institute of uh, Technology in an offline mode. Uh, immediate after the completion of UHV, I feel something, this is uh, the direction which we are uh, trying to find out for for longer time. So I went and spoke with my uh, dean sir and other IR officials. So he said, if you feel that it's going to be uh, important, then you can take a in charge for that. And they appointed me in the same month as a university coordinator. And uh, personally, um, I feel there is a lot of uh, um, a transformation happening, started happening, at least in the scratch level within me. Uh, just to mention one or two, the first thing I could see is um, nowadays I'm just sleeping a little peaceful and um, I have a freedom of uh, not to uh, impress anybody like uh, whether it is correct or wrong. I don't want to check anything. It is correct or wrong. Everything I can, I can, I don't want to check with anyone or impress anyone. I could able to feel that answer is all within me. And most of the time, I don't know how to kill the time, especially when I'm free. So now this has become a very favorite hobby for me, like watching my own imagination, what's happening with my this, desire, thoughts and expectation. So I could see that I was a bit of self-discipline and I become little responsible enough than before. So these transformation, which I saw in myself, so that is how um, I wanted to take it to the uh, whole uh, SRM. Then... Uh, for the morning session, I joined in the November 2020 through 60 batch. And uh, uh, to develop myself, to understand this concept in a better way, I was a regular participant of all the weekly meetings and in the UC meetings. And the volunteering activities we took, I took in the participation of weekly meeting coordination and face-to-face -face FDB conduction. And recently, we have started this Trammel translation work. And few of my colleagues are uh, helping into all these activities, which I'll be discussing in the latest slide. So this is an overview. Let me give up about what is the SRM and what is UHV journey? What is the structure of the UHV cell and the activities? The number of teachers trained? What are the implementation about UHV 1 and 2? And few of the UHV activities as we have uh, taken. So this, this is, um, the SRM has five campuses and one uh, one extra one we do have it in uh, Andhra Pradesh that comes under uh, UGC norms. So these are the five campuses, Katangadu, Ramapuram, Badapani, Trichrapalli and Delhi. Around 52,000 full-time students are there in the campus and uh, more than 3,000 to be approximate 3,700 at present. And we do have uh, uh, multiple disciplines uh, that I'll show it in the next slide. And these are some of the ranking status and uh, some of the accredited bodies of SRM. And we have established this SRM in the year of 1985. And it's a very huge campus. It has been approved by AICT and UGC and a lot more approval was there. So we just kept it very particular. And total number of student intake is 32,000 present. And approximate every year, first year students was around 17,000, which includes all the discipline of engineering, medical, management, science and humanity, law, 
agricultural science, hotel management, dispense education, and online education. We do have nine colleges and 111 departments, over about 300 programs, and 3,200 academicians. And the faculty strength is approximately 3,700, and the total fac non teaching faculty and other staff members is around 3,800. And this is how we formed the uh, uh, value education cell. It has been headed by our uh, vice chancellor, sir, Professor Dr. C. Muthamil Shalvan, sir. And uh, registrar, sir, and pro vice chancellor, sir, of the medical is heading the team. And we do have three discipline uh, deans, engineering and technology, Gopal, sir. He is one who uh, initiated this UHV. And now medical team has taken a lot of steps to implement this UHV in the uh, their curriculums as well. And SNH also they have implemented, so these three. And our Dean IQAC, sir, is one who initially motivated how important is this uni universal human values. So these are the core members. Along with me, there is a university co-coordinator, Dr. Infanta Meripriya. So this is the um, constitution. So we have established this UHV cell in the August 2022. The Sumati Didi was uh, the chief guest to inaugurate the cell. And the UC and UCC was appointed in the same month. And we have completed um, uh, UHV intro self-funded mode. We have completed UHV introductory. So uh, UHV MDP we have completed and UHV 2. So UHV 2 we conducted in a self-funded mode. And last week we conducted in the ACT sponsored mode. So number of faculty, this is the stats of number of completion. So MDP completed faculty, that is deans, directors and head of the departments, around 73 has completed. That is almost 80% of our deans, directors and head of the department has completed this course. And the UHV introductory, 799 has completed as on date. And UHV 1, it is just two completed. Uh, we couldn't ever, the reason last one year, only the stats uh, from August 2022 to till date, this is the stats. Before that, we didn't implement any of the UHV things in the college. And UHV 2, as on date, 183 faculty members has completed. And the depart discipline coordinators is four, like engineering and technology, medical, ascendage, and management. And department-wise coordinator nominated was 28. And the five campus coordinator was nominated. And we are also supporting this SRM AP campus. We have a core team member which have taken uh, lots of roles and responsibilities uh, so to mention one or two. The regular meet, weekly meeting coordinator is Dr. Kavita Chai Charan. And um, uh, we do have um, a sensitization programs, awareness program for the faculty, newsletter team. So totally 18 faculty members have taken their uh, roles and responsibility in order to work under uh, UHV cell. And seven faculty have started volunteering for the national level, say in the help desk or in the weekly meeting or in the Tamil translation team, uh, they have been started. And to start up with, we start, we thought first thing is to begin with in when, when we had this discussion, how to establish this UHV cell. Our first thing is before taking it to the students, we wanted to take it to the faculty members. So uh, when we discussed with uh, Ch Vice Chancellor sir about um, uh, these kind of awareness programs and um, uh, there were uh, self-funded mode, he said, if our faculties are interested, Initially, we sent a lot of mail, but there was no uh, very good response in um, attending this online uh, mode of uh, UHV programs. So we plan to go to department-wise and talk with the faculty about what is happening, what is this UHV, why we need to do it. A very um, a short and brief talk for 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, we had uh, awareness program. So this is just a clip of that awareness program. And uh, after uh, when... After our, so after we went for this awareness program in the different department and, and almost we covered all the department and the discipline, slowly start, people started attending the online courses as well as offline courses. So in order to, as, as we could see a lot of interest for offline courses, we started with UHV introductory. So Sunil Baya was the resource person. And then we done with the UHV 2. This is in the March uh, 2022. And in the May, UHV 2, um, program has been conducted by Umesh Paya and almost 156 participants has uh, completed with this UHV introductory and um, uh, during this Umesh Paya session there was around 90 participants who completed UHV too and uh, these faculty members told it is really important uh, why can't you pull in the uh, deans and directors HOD also some what we want to do but there is a kind of uh, um, uh, HODs has to be understood as well so can we talk so we went and uh, told about this MDP program to the higher-ups. And initially, there was a bit hesitant about don't we know the values kind of thing. 
But later when we having a dialogue and the discussion with the management people, we could see there is also a longing of, uh, uh, in spite of whatever the position, they are also longing about how to be a human and what is this human being understanding what's happening. So out of their own interest, uh, people joined and almost 73 has completed. And recently we completed this uh, AACT sponsored workshop. This is the recent photo of it. Like around um, one or three participants attended from different universities. Some of the university coordinators and college coordinators also conducted. So this is mainly for the uh, faculty awareness and to prepare the faculty for the uh, UHV. And every year we do have a faculty uh, induction program. Whenever the new faculty is coming up to the SRM, we do have a faculty induction program. During that FRAP program, uh, we introduce this UHV to all the faculty. At least one hour session will be there. A lot of programs happening in that two-day session. One hour session was given to the universal human values for um, uh, telling all the fresh faculty members about what is happening in the UHV cell and how to take up it in the course. So this we want to continue for the next year as well. So this is how uh, FRAP awareness and regular weekly meetings are happening. So past uh, it, uh, uh, till last week, it was 19 weekly meetings as completed. SRM every Saturday we do have from 10 to 11 uh, weekly meeting for uh, faculty members to be in touch with the content. And these are the some of the glimpses. Every week uh, there will be a weekly meeting. And sometimes we do have it uh, offline mode. So they feel it, this is very much in connection and a uh, lot of discussion happens. And many times we go meet with our dean, sir, uh, about what are the status. So this way we are building the faculty relationship. And most of the time um, we are very much sure about not to put anything as a mandatory or compulsory. And uh, people are volunteering by themselves. They step in whenever there was like this kind of responsibilities open under the UHV cell, people drop in like uh, we can take it up that responsibility. So that is how this whole team has been built. And next to the faculty development, we thought it is uh, important uh, to take it to the students. So that is our uh, motto. So engineering, we have five campus. We have implemented uh, this SIP and uh, we couldn't able to make this holistic health kind of thing, but uh, I'll show in the next day the schedule which we made. And USV one last year in the 2022, we hardly had initially 20 faculties to do this uh, USV one module. So within the December, we almost got some good count of uh, 300 to 400 faculty with that. Uh, the very next semester, that is during the second semester of first year students, we conduct the complete USV one uh, 15 sessions. And uh, this year, it uh, this year it started in the proper induction time with the good number of faculty members. And in the science and humanity, in the Katangalthu campus alone, we have implemented and the SIP and UHV is also happening. And in the medical unit, Katangalthu campus, we have implemented this 15 hours value added code, the same SIP content, like UHV one content of 15 hour session is happening for all the first year students. And um, currently, uh, last two days the, for the second year students also they are taking this 15 year course 15 hours course and probably uh, they are extending it to the third year final year and fourth year and fifth year students as well so the medical team is really working great and they're also implementing this uh, sip session i mean that uhv one module 15 hours course to the medical people and the uhv two has been implemented in the engineering as a mandatory three credit course this is for all the second year students and for the science and humanity we have implemented for all first year students as a two credit course and a faculty mentor uh, it is actually in the plan it is yet to implement all there is a, every 30 students there is one faculty advisor per year so in future we are planning if every faculty member of srm is um, aware about this uhv one and two content probably every faculty advisor will be conducting this UHV program uh, during this induction time. So that is the overall, uh, for the larger run, we are planning in that way. And we do have counseling cell in every department, in every discipline. So those counseling cell faculty members will be given a sep um, separate, uh, separate refresher program. So that will be conducted for them to train how to uh, counsel the student with the UHV content. And the student... Uh, program like students, uh, senior students can adopt any uh, any junior students like five or one uh, senior. So those program and we have a student activity cell is already there in the campus, but that all the clubs of students can be incorporated with the value-based uh, things. Say for example, musical, drama, 
everywhere uh, the value based uh, system can be implemented so thus discussion is happening and we have initiated this nature and harmony club for the students and it is on call and few activities has been initiated under this and the uh, alumni director has recently attended this mdp program and he is very much interested to take this up to the alumni student already they have mentor menti program in the alumni and they want to make this uhv program uh, 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 connecting this alumni so this is the um, overall stage of the SRM. And these are the, some of the student um, induction program and students has been taken to, this was been recommended in ACT website, UHP website, like sustainable living. Uh, we took students for this uh, Shadana Forest where there is a zero waste of living. So that kind of program to make them understand uh, uh, how we can utilize the uh, minimal physical facilities and uh, already the prosperity, the feeling of prosperity concept. And some of these, uh, there are a lot of activities happening uh, in collaboration with UBA, NSS, as well as uh, UHV faculties and itself as taking an initiative. So these are the some of the glimpses. And this is one sample I have kept for last year uh, orientation program, how this UHV has been um, uh, given. So all these uh, four days, four, four hours, we have come up with the UHV, uh, excuse me. So this UHV uh, a program for the two combos. So first batch will be in the morning and second batch will be in the evening. So four hours for four day, it is almost 16 hours we covered this UHV uh, program for the SIP. And uh, this is some of the, uh, we, after the student, uh, faculty members and student, we want to support some of the practice within the institution. And uh, slowly we can take this act activities to the external bodies as well. So in this, uh, this is the students from disaster management students who have come from UK counseling cell, council cell. So for them, we conducted the UHP program and there was a, a Pudutaramurai trust-based students who are studying uh, in the chancellor scholarships. So uh, economically backward students. For them, we have conducted 21 hours uh, sessions. And this is inside the college campus. We went and told about... Uh, um, uh, instead of tasty food, we can even come up with the organic food kinds and disposable plastics can be removed. Such a kind of awareness program conducted. And this is one kind of workshop like we can reuse, reusable products can be developed just with the mud, how to, it, I, I myself conducted this um, workshop uh, to come up with the sustainable products. Like uh, it's just a clay jewelries and for the school students and for the faculty members, some yoga and well-being. And this is our Yunat Bharat Tabian coordinator, Thirumurugan sir. So he, along with the coordinator, we have initiated the cycle rally as well as um, some of the uh, best practices which we can do uh, based on uh, stay health and tree plantation. So this is just a glimpse of it. And we do have um, a lot of program. Even we conducted few programs for non-teaching faculty as well as um, uh, some of the caretakers. For them, we have made a small programs like uh, just in the simple uh, Tamil language, we told them uh, what you want. It's a kind of uh, uh, giving a complimentary to this caretaker. So such kind of program students have initiated and almost uh, 30 different departments are coming up with their own uh, outreach activities and they are working on um, uh, celebrating, welcoming first year students and uh, some kind of how to early to rise and early to bed hostel things can be happen. And a lot of, um, uh, in, inside the campus, they also come up with removal of this um, uh, food products uh, and they want to bring up some organic based foods and those kind of uh, policies has been made by higher ups. So slowly, slowly we could see a lot of things are happening here. And one other thing is like the st share station. We are about to establish the share station. So permissions all been granted. So if you feel any of the product is not useful, that can be kept in the share station. So any other person who wants it can take it forward. Uh, so they can take it for their use. So such kind of uh, uh, practices we are bringing into the system. And the external activities um, adopt. We already adopted a few schools, seven to 10 schools, 10 schools to precise. So 10 schools we adopted under uh, UBA. So slowly these faculty members who are being involved in various um, uh, activities can uh, take it up this UHV content to the school teachers as some of the programs for the students as well. Slowly, slowly to the farmers nearby. And these are the, some of the things we have it in the uh, next level. 
and recently we have come up with the uh, last year we had one year newsletter uh, sorry one year academic annual report uh, a few people a few of our people have suggested let's go with the uh, biannual newsletters so every every semester once we are planning to uh, publish a newsletter so our first issue is going to be published in the first january it's almost ready miralini ji is working on this and few of the impact analysis has been uh, done with the various uh, students uh, feedback faculty feedback we are making a proper report on all these impact analysis in that if you could see like uh, in one survey there is a, a, about in 2000 students 1800 students are recommending this course for the junior so this is such kind of encouraging uh, things we could see that students and uh, all these stakeholders almost all the stakeholders even in the sip few uh, few parents were attended this uhb session and they also given their feedback and uh, such a kind of uh, courses we didn't hear about it we thought some technical kind of stuff will be there in the induction and it's nice to see that um, value based courses also coming up and this is the resource center uh, srm we do have offline and online resource center few of the books and important uhb materials has been uh, a few has been shared by our resource persons when they came during this fdp and mdp program so those books has been kept in our uh, value education cell and apart from that we do have a website srm institute of science and technology website we do have value education cell in that we have given a link it's just few i have mentioned here if you could go uh, there you can see very detailed so where to register how to certificate verification what are the materials and uh, weekly meeting link monthly meeting link all this has been given from the um, uh, ACT links and some of our SRM stats, like if anybody wants to see the statistics of how much completed their certificate number, where to fill the introduction completion form, everything we just kept it in a common place. So, and the core team activities, what we have done till dated, every uh, responsibility given to the each faculty it has been kept open. So right from the top management to the ground level surface, people, anybody can see, it's, we are keeping it more transparent and it is all maintained in the centralized manner in the UHV uh, mail. So any faculty who are creating any new form will be calling us. So we will create a form and just add them as a collaborator. So even if we are not there, the next part is one next person who gonna take care, will just get into the drive and see all the documents as being well maintained. And we feel this is important. And these are the few testimonials after uh, this is a faculty testimonial has been placed in the website and we are building up with the student and uh, management people testimonials. Some of them has mentioned that it was a uh, really uh, best thing to bring it and uh, how personally their life has been um, uh, changed. So those kind of testimonials have been uh, one or two to explain. Uh, John sir has told every month I'll be sending my amma uh, uh, some kind of amount for her need. But this time after MDP, I felt I need to visit her in person. And uh, he said that she is very happy. And um, Pushpalatamam said, I went and go. I went to the department and I started um, seeing uh, people uh, without doubting their intention. So many people have uh, mentioned that, uh, uh, ma'am, you understand our difficult situation. And nowadays you become so uh, uh, the person of like listening. And she felt so happy about, uh, I'm not judging people now. And this practices is giving a good outcome also in the department. So that she could see and she said this practice, she will be continuing as well. So just two to mention and uh, some more we'll be putting in the testimonials. You can see later. So university-wide, uh, as I told, uh, our IR director is uh, very much into uh, vision, how to build this UHP in the university level. And he wants to bring this value education, value-based education and value-based living in SRM. And we will be uh, soon um, appointing one dean and director specifically for this um, uh, UHV cell. And uh, one UC UCC is already there and a lot more volunteers to come up with. And we do have plans of leadership development program, which I'll show you in the upcoming plans. And um, these are already mentioned, like counseling cell will be strengthened and the faculty advisors will be given the preference to take this UHV courses for the students. And the regional language conferences will be conducted and the centralized repository has been maintained for all the documents. So any other universities who wants to take up all the resources can um, take it directly from the web portal. Uh, some of our UHV cell, uh, we are planning regular weekly meeting because this we feel more important. There is a lot of discussions happening. People are helping each other like in the content, in the personal level transformation. 
and um, these things happening and lot of coordination they are come up with uh, some kind of uh, madi totem like planting plantations in the uh, terrace gardening they are coming up with few few projects they are volunteering themselves to do this and we all want to maintain this proper resource center and the awareness program will be continued and we want to we are concentrating to take it to the all levels in the future our parents alumni every stakeholder of srm to be aware with this uhv content and minor degree program to begin with we want to bring this holistic health uh, at least by next year holistic health is the first plan slowly slowly will be cutting uh, all the minor degree electives in the initial state further it can be expanded to the minor degree and um, as i mentioned other things uh, we are ready to assist the other colleges and region almost for for, for few colleges we already given um how to establish this uhv cell how to apply kind of thing we already shared and some of the awareness talk also given but if anybody willing we are ready to come to your college and give us awareness and all the materials which we have collected uh, we will be guiding and you can also help us to uh, with the better suggestions and few of our volunteers are involved in the tamil translation team and self paced course development uh face to face coordination so this is all happening and it's all by their own interest so that is very encouraging so this is the uh, members of the core team uh, who is in the various activities i could say and upcoming plans of january uh, i mean to 2024 introductory uh, fdp is on jan 24 just uh, now today i got the approval for the same so uhp2 program will be one more uhp2 you know program we are planning during the march and leadership development program in the month of february and holistic model in the month of february 2024 and a refresher course of the constituting cell faculty will be in the um, in the line and we srm is committed to this universal human values and holistic value based education and uh, we will be working towards this transformation along with all the uh, along with the whole uhv members of srm i express my sincere gratitude to whole uhv family members who are taken this um a very big cause uh, giving a, a right understanding through this education so thank you so much everyone and if any comments or suggestions to be incorporated um, we are open to take it up thank you